What's up everyone, I'm Silvio Perez. I'm the founder of Ad Conversion. We teach B2B marketers how to scale paid ads with free advertising courses taught by the world's best practitioners. And in this quick tutorial, I wanna show you how to install the LinkedIn Ads Pixel in four steps. So step number one is gonna be to create a free LinkedIn Ads account. Step number two is gonna be able to navigate to the Insights section in our Ads account to grab our Pixel code. Step number three is gonna be how to install that pixel. And I'm gonna show you how to do that with Google Tag Manager. And then finally, in step number four, we're gonna preview our, that our tag is firing in Google Tag Manager to make sure that our pixel was installed properly. So without further ado, let's get into it. So to get started, log into your LinkedIn ads account. And then once you log into your, or to your LinkedIn profile, and once you log into your LinkedIn profile, you're gonna see the ability to advertise here on the top right. If you don't see the advertise button, then just click on this square here, and then you will see it down here where it says explore more for business, and then just click on advertise on LinkedIn. Now, once you do that, it's gonna ask you to get started. So all you gotta do is sign in, and then you're gonna sign into the campaign manager. And then once you do that, you're here in the campaign manager, that's the steps, and you'll have to create a LinkedIn ads account. So right now it automatically put me into my LinkedIn ads account, so if this is your first time in the campaign manager, you're gonna see something like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and create an account right here on the top left. I'm gonna give this account a name. So you can name it whatever your company is. That's what I would recommend. Make sure you put the currency in your actual currency because this is gonna be reflected on your cost charges in the uh, metrics reporting. And then finally, make sure to associate your LinkedIn page. It says that it's optional, but it shouldn't, you should think of this as not optional because you're not gonna be able to do a lot in the ads manager in terms of implementing certain types of ads without that page association. So go ahead and make sure you link the right page by typing in the name of your page. So in my case, it's ad conversion. I can choose my page and then make sure that it's linked. Once you do that, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is to grab our pixel code. So we're gonna navigate here to our ads manager. We're gonna click on analyze insight tag and then we're gonna to wanna to install the insight tag. So we've got a couple of different options here. What we're gonna be using today is the ability to install it ourselves. So if you click on, I will use a tag manager, it's gonna show you your partner ID, which you can copy. This is one way we can go, or the other way is we can just copy the whole pixel code and then install it ourselves in tag manager as a custom HTML tag. So go ahead and grab your code. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the partner ID code right here and then we're gonna log into Google Tag Manager. And if you've never created Google Tag Manager before, just create a free account at tagmanager.google.com and then install the global snippet onto your website across the head and body tag. And then once you do that, you're gonna navigate here to click on new tag. And we're gonna build this new tag to be able to set up our pixel. So we gotta give this a name. Proper hygiene here is important. So let's name it accordingly. We're gonna say LinkedIn pixel is the name of the tag. And then the trigger is gonna be all pages because we wanna cookie people who visited all of our different pages on our site. So for the tag configuration, if you click on that, you can click on this little search bar up here and you can search LinkedIn and you're gonna see here on the more section, it's gonna call LinkedIn Insight. And then this is where you can drop in your tag ID that we grabbed right here. So this partner ID, you can grab that in, drop it right here. And then for the trigger, we can put all pages we can save this and then away as we go, we're good to go in terms of setting up this LinkedIn pixel and now we'll preview it, which is our final step. One other thing I want you to see, just so you have all the flexibility, is if in the case you wanted to install the tag via custom HTML, you can just click, I will install the tag myself, copy the code, go back into Tag Manager, change the tag configuration to custom HTML, and then drop the script and then have it set to fire on all pages. Regardless of which option you choose, the outcome is the exact same. You're gonna install your LinkedIn ads pixel. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And once I save it, now what I wanna do is preview that it's firing properly on my website. So I'm gonna grab my website domain URL right here and we are going to click preview. And let's go ahead and install this tag. So we're gonna connect it to my website. All right, tag assistant is loaded. And then I'm gonna click here on the left. I'm gonna look under tags. And then what I wanna look for is my LinkedIn pixel. So you can see here, LinkedIn pixel, all pages. I went ahead and it fired one time based on this page load, which is exactly what we want. Make sure you don't see duplications of triggers. So for example, you can see I have a LinkedIn insight tag. 
and then a LinkedIn Insight Pixel. I had already installed the Pixel from way back when I started advertising on LinkedIn in this account, but I wanted to create a new one just for the sake of a demonstration. So I wanna actually submit this live, but just to show you that's something to be mindful of. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to look out for is if you see multiple fires and you only wanted it to fire once on a page load and you see it's duplicated and it fired two times, three times, that could be an issue to look into as well. So with that, we are set. Now we just go into Google Tag Manager, submit our changes, always put your version change, so added LinkedIn Pixel, publish this, and then away as you go, you are all set. So now when you go back into your LinkedIn Insights section here on your LinkedIn Ads Manager, you can just navigate to plan audiences, and then you can start to create audiences. And over time, once the Insight Tag starts to build a large enough pool, you'll be able to navigate towards website demographics, and then you'll actually see insights here based on the users that are visiting your site and how LinkedIn is classifying them. So that's it for this video. I hope you got some value from it. If you're curious, this video is part of a master series that I'm doing on how to master B2B remarketing. So make sure to check out the other videos in this playlist. And then this article that you see me screen sharing right here that we're working off of for this video, you can access that article in the description box down below. And this article is all about how to build a multi-channel B2B retargeting strategy. So definitely want to go ahead and get your hands on that. But yeah, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one.